Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Fine. Good. Fine. Did you have a good day? Yes. Good day. Nice. Nice. <laughs> That's the idea. Tomorrow, it's my first day of vacation, my annual vacations. Oh. I have 20 days. So. How many I days? 20. 20. That's good. Yeah. I can be more happy. Yeah, you can be happier. <laughs> good, good. Congratulations. Yeah. Very good. So, nice. Mm -hmm. What about you, Jose? How was your day? I'm good. Uh, it was well working. Okay. A regular day. Yes, a normal day. Okay. All right. And Roxy, how are you today? Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Today I have a busy day. Okay. Many many activities. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good. Are all your Tuesdays um, usually busy? Uh, yeah, every day, every day, always okay. we have different activities to make, to do, or to invent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, good, good. Uh, Rocio, welcome back, Rocio. Thank you, thank you. Um, my day was uh, as usual. Okay. Uh, yes, very busy. All right, good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so welcome back, everybody. What is today's date? It's November 10th. It's, November 10th. It's November 10th. And, and what is the year? 2020. 2020. Yes, 2020. Okay. Um, do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Um, yes, we we were we talking about um, uh, words using suffix. Something like that. Suffix or prefix? Prefix, prefix. Right, a prefix, yes. What, a is prefix. The what is the function of a prefix? Uh, 
To make the opposite to the word. Good, to give the opposite meaning of the word. Opposite. Yes. What is the opposite of correct? Incorrect. Incorrect. Comfortable? Uncomfortable. 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 Legal? Legal. 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 Legible? Legible. Illegible. Legible. Legible. Illegible. Uh, rational? Irrational. 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 Exactly. Good. So we have prefixes and we have suffixes. Any questions um, about yesterday's class? No, everything oh. was clear. Okay, yeah. good. So let me let me share with you. This right here. I will put you on silent because the video is like three minutes long. So here we go. If you may have any questions while I'm presenting this, please uh, stop me. All right. About the present and the future, and we regret about the past. Okay, have you gotten to this part of the plan? Okay, can you hear me? No, teacher. I haven't get, get there. Okay, can you see the document that I'm sharing? Yes. Okay, wishes and regrets. I need a volunteer to read the first part, please for wishes uh -huh. for wishes about the present and future use wish plus past simple past continuous or cool or wool plus verb okay good so we have the example i wish i had enough nerve to ask for a promotion or I wish I could find the time to do volunteer work. So do you remember how many tenses we have in English? How many tenses do we have in English? 12 tenses. 12 tenses, exactly. So every tense has a different function. Every tense has a different structure. So in this case, when you're talking about wishes about present and future, you can use the simple past or past simple or the past continuous form. Any questions there? No. No, okay. I need another volunteer to read the second part, please, for regrets. Aye. Go ahead, uh, please. For regrets about the past, use wish plus past perfect. Okay. I wish I'd taken a few Spanish classes. Okay. I wish I hadn't given my parents such a hard time when I was growing up. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So uh, remember that the simple past in the previous uh, exercise, the previous reading, we use the simple past for actions that are completely finished. We use the past continuous to talk about actions that were in progress in a particular time in the past. Now, do you remember the past perfect? What is the auxiliary we use in the past perfect? Have. Have. Had. And what is the form of the verb? Past participle. Past participle. Exactly. Okay. Um, any questions with the part uh, Mario just read? No, teacher. How do you say? Me gustaría haberte escuchado o haberte hecho caso. I wish. I wish I listened to you. Exactly. I wish I listened to you. Yes. Very good. Nice. Okay. Another volunteer to read the first, the third paragraph, please, for regrets. Me, teacher. Go ahead. 
for reading about the past, use if plus past perfect and could and would have plus past possible. Uh -huh. If I had a stool with something, I could have worn good it good at it. Thank you. Okay, so once again, we're using the past perfect and we are using past models. Past models. How do you say, si yo hubiera estudiado más? Mm. I wish if I, I had studied. If I had studied more, me more? hubiera graduado en menos tiempo. I would have graduated in less time. Excellent. If I had studied more, I would have graduated in less time. So th that's a regret about the past. So when you say, if I had studied more, the message is that the person did not study much. And then he or she is uh, seeing the results. Okay, and the last paragraph, please. Another volunteer for strong wishes. For, a strong, for strong wishes about the present or future, or for a strong regrets about the past Use if only. If only clauses are often used without a main clause. Right. If only my boss would consider promoting me. Promoting me. Good. Very good. Thank you. Okay, uh, class, do you have any questions about this introduction? Not yet. Okay, not yet. So wishes and regrets. So wishes, something that you would like uh, to happen in your life. Regrets, things related with the past. So let's continue. Wishes and regrets. For wishes about the present and future, use wish plus past simple or past continue or would have plus past participle. In English, there are different ways to express wishes in the present and in the future. We may use wish plus past simple. So, how do you say, desearía vivir en un lugar más cerca? That is a, a, that's a structure that you use with the first uh, example that we have here. Desearía vivir más vivir cerca. Nearest. One more time. I wish I lived nearest. Good. I wish I lived nearer or closer. Near. Okay, closer. Yes. Now, what about the wish plus the past continuous? How do you say, desearía que ellos estuvieran estudiando? Desearía que ellos estuvieran estudiando. I wish they would have studied. Studied. Okay. Uh, what What is the past continuous? What is the structure of the past continuous? Oh, yeah, right. Great. I wish I, they have been. There. I wish they, they were studying. studying. Okay. Yeah. I wish they were yeah. studying. Studying. Okay. Yes. I wish they were studying. So me gustaría que estuvieran estudiando. So you you look at your children, your little brothers, nephews. They're always uh, playing at home. And said, me gustaría que estuvieran estudiando. So I wish they were studying. They were studying. Uh -huh. How do you say, me gustaría poder estar en México? I wish, I wish I'd be. I could be. Uh, I, could, wish, could I wish I could be I, I Mexico. I, could be uh -huh. Mexico. I wish I could be in Mexico. Mm -hmm. And the last one says, I wish I would plus verb. How do you say, me gustaría ayudarte? I, I wish I would help, help you. you. Okay, good. I wish I would help you. All right. Any questions about this uh, slide? No. No. All right. Wish. Plus past continuous. Wish plus could plus a verb or wish plus would plus a verb. 
we use wish plus past simple to express that we want a situation in the present or future to be different. So, how do you say me gustaría que no dijeras malas palabras? Wish I, I wish you don't say that word. Remember, you, you have didn't to use say the, you didn't okay. say exactly. Uh, I you wish didn't you didn't say, say. Yeah, bad I words. wish you didn't say bad words. Yes. Uh -huh. How do you say me gustaría que hablaras con él? I wish you speak. Okay, past simple. Past simple. simple. You spoke. You uh -huh. spoke with him. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I wish you spoke with him. So once again, you use wish plus the simple past to talk mm -hmm. about a situation in the future or in the present and you wish that this situation would happen, right? Me gustaría que no vivieras en Honduras, for example. How would you say that? I wish... Uh -huh. I wish you didn't live. live. In Honduras, yes. Honduras. I wish you didn't live in Honduras. You didn't live in Honduras. Exactly, very good. Example, I wish I spoke English. So all these examples here, they yeah. have the, the simple past structure. I wish I spoke English. I, I spoke wish English. I had a big car. I, I wish I were on the beach. And I wish it were the weekend tomorrow. Okay. How do you say the first one in Spanish? I wish I spoke English. Desearía hablar inglés. Desearía hablar inglés. What about the second one? I wish I had a big car. Desearía tener uh -huh. un gran carro. Okay. I wish I were on a beach. Desearía estar en la playa. Estar en la playa. Desearía estar en la playa. Or I wish it were the weekend tomorrow. Me gustaría que. Me gustaría. Que fuera semana para mañana. Exactly. So all those wishes you use the, the simple past uh, structure. Now, mm -hmm. if this information was negative, you would simply have to include uh, the auxiliary didn't in every sentence. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I don't speak English. You I do. wish I had a big car. I don't have a big car. I wish I were on a beach. I am in the office. I wish. Future. I wish it were the weekend tomorrow. I wish it were. It's only Tuesday tomorrow. So how do you say, me gustaría que no hablaras esas cosas? I wish you didn't speak. Uh -huh. okay. I wish you didn't things. speak that thing. Okay. How do you say me gustaría que él no tuviera un carro grande? I wish he didn't. Uh -huh. Didn't have, have a big car. Good. A big car. Uh -huh. big How car. do you say me, me gustaría no estar en la playa? I wish, I wish we weren't. I wish I weren't. Weren't on a beach. Okay, very good. All right. Mm -hmm. Did you notice the use of were when using the pronoun I and it? So how do you pronounce, what is the past tense of are? Were. 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 Yes. Were. Yes. Were. How do you say, donde estaba usted? Or where are you? Where, where are you? were you? Where, where were you? Where were, where were you? you? Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Ah, where were you? Where were you? Where were okay. you? Okay, so where it, were you? Okay, where? 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 You? Where? 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 You? Uh -huh. <laughs> where? 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 Similar. And, and, and people Sounds. say, oh, it's the right. same pronunciation, especially because 
letter H, Similar. sometimes is why. So you say, where were you? No, it's not good. So where, where is for places where, and where uh -huh. is the past tense of In are. So mm -hmm. if you want to say, donde estaba usted, you will say, where were you? Where, where were, were you? you? Where were you? Where were you? Exactly. Where were you? Okay, where good. So remember, look, even um, when you're using the third person singular, you're supposed to say where. When you're using the second conditional, was does not exist. So if you want to say, me gustaría que él fuera más comprensivo. I wish he were more understanding. Wish, he were. I wish he were. I wish ah. he were. Uh, did, we don't use uh, was. Just no. Where. Was does not exist. No. And that's why they make emphasis. And you see that the word is with the yellow color. So they mm -hmm. emphasize that uh, you're going to mm -hmm. use word. Uh, with everybody, with with all personal pronouns. Okay. All right. This only happens in wishful thinking or hypothetical situations. We use wish plus past continuous to express that we want to be doing a different action in the present or the future. For example, I wish I were laying on a hammock now. I'm sitting in the office. I wish it weren't raining. It is raining. How do you say mm. me gustaría que estuviéramos ahorrando dinero? I wish. I wish we were. We were saving money. Exactly. I wish we were saving money. How wish. do you say me gustaría que nos... Uh -huh. I wish we had a lot of money. How do you say me gustaría que nos estuviéramos levantando más temprano? Mm -hmm. Maybe my letter. We, we were waking, waking up, up. I more earlier. 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 Yes, earlier. Okay, very good. We use wish plus past perfect to express a regret or that we want a situation in the past to be different. I wish I hadn't spent. Okay, I wish I hadn't spent too much money. Which tense is that? Uh, uh, past, past perfect. Perfect. Past, past perfect. perfect. Exactly. Uh -huh. And they, wish wish they had stayed in Japan. Past perfect as well. So I wish I hadn't spent too much money. Now, did this person spend too much money? Yes. No. Yes, he did. I wish oh. I hadn't spent too much money. So mm -hmm. that means okay. that maybe last Me night. No haber gastado. Uh -huh, exactly. Spending. Me gustaría no haber gastado. So the message oh, is right. that the person spent too much money. Mm -hmm. And the other one says they wish they had stayed in Japan. Did they stay in Japan? No. 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 Desearía sí. haberse quedado en Japón. So that means yep. that they didn't they stay left. in Japan. They left, exactly. They left. Spent too much money. I spent lots of money. They wish they had stayed in Japan. They didn't stay in Japan. We use if plus past perfect plus could have or would have plus past participle to express regrets about the past or when we want to imagine change. Okay, how do you say si me hubiera levantado más temprano? If I were. If I were. No, past wait. perfect. You said past ah. perfect. If, if I, I had. I would have. I have no. uh, had. Waking up. Okay, mm -hmm. now remember, <laughs> when we use the past perfect, it is mandatory that you use auxiliary past. Had. And the form of the verb is always past participle. So how yeah. do you say uh, si yo me hubiera levantado I más temprano? I wake. If I had uh, woken up. Okay, if uh, I had woken up I earlier, woke up. So. podría haber llegado temprano. If I had woken up. I could have arrived early. I could have arrived early. 
Yes, I could have arrived early. Changing something in the past. For example, if she had gone to university, she could have studied French. She didn't go to university. Right, so if she had gone to university, she could have studied French. Pudo haber estudiado francés. Okay, any questions or comments? Um, no? It's, it's hard to, it's hard to, to practice this because uh, we have to have the chance to, to, to talk to someone and, and practice this because it's right. kind of, it's kind of complicated and you f forget it. I mean, I don't yeah, know how, rules, maybe, the maybe in one month I, I will, uh, I won't, wouldn't be able to remember <laughs> exactly this structure. Okay. Thank yeah. And, and, yeah. And especially if, if like, this is the only space that you have to practice the language, you know, it becomes a little bit more difficult. Like if you don't have anybody to practice the language with. So, yeah. So, you know, this is the theory. And that's why whenever you guys have the chance, you have to do the practice. Okay. Um, any questions before we temporarily change subject? We will return to this same topic um, later on. Any questions or comments? In this case, uh, could have is the two auxiliary. Um, what could is a model, have is the auxiliary. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, me pudiste haber llamado. You could have called me. Could is the model, have is the auxiliary. Yes. Okay. All right. So I have a question with, with wish. Yes. Yeah. Uh, wish is desear y también gustaría. Yeah. Yeah. It, it depends how you translate it. I wish I were in Mexico. Me gustaría... Uh -huh. Estar en México. O desearía estar, estar en México. México. Yeah, okay. wish. Yeah. That is good like, really. Yeah. I wish I Come were on. in Mexico. Me gustaría estar en... Desearía yeah, estar. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Any other questions or comments before I assign you to working pairs? I guess not. Not teacher, no. Okay. Not, no, but not. So let me share this topic here. Something that everybody wants to experience. Okay, can you see the, the questions? Yes, I can see the questions. Yes. Okay, what is the topic? The topic? Love. 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 Yes. Okay, nine to 10, eight to nine, right here. Okay, so you can take a screenshot if you wish, or if you prefer, you can uh, use the image that I'm sending to the, to the WhatsApp chat. So let me do this here. Add a room, and here we go, people.
Uh, what image spring to my when you hear the word love? When I hear the word love, um, uh, I think in my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, girlfriend or, or wife? Girlfriend or what? Or wife? Ah, oh, no, girlfriend. Girlfriend, no. Okay. No. Yeah. Are you single? Uh, yes. But ah, wait, wait, we have to. I'll be sure it's more with my girlfriend, but yeah, we are wearing in the good steps. Maybe in the future. Yeah, but right now, only girlfriend. <laughs> only boyfriend, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> All right. And how about. Uh, it, it, it's about love, the, the word love, but. Who is the singer? No, no, it's it not a specific, no. it's oh. not a specific song. Okay, yeah. okay. How important is love for How you? How important is love? Yes, it's very important. For you? I, 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 I think if we want to to be in peace <laughs> in in our in our home and in our you have to love and forgive. Yeah. Think, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I think mm -hmm. that love is mm -hmm. the main the main. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Is component. In life. Mm -hmm. No company. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's very necessary. Uh, we can live. If we, mm -hmm. we can live if you don't have uh, love, yeah, I yeah. think okay. it's very important in the yeah. family with others. Uh -huh. Okay, I Veronica, what is your opinion? I think is I think the love is a is a principal feeling in our life uh -huh. because the love is not only the love that we feel about about to uh, a person uh, there are different kind of loves yeah i can explain yes <laughs> yes there are different yes the love for yes. my parents the love for my brothers mm -hmm. uh, and yes. the love for for your okay good your, a husband wife Love of agape, like a, a love, love of, uh, of God, a lot. Yes. yes. So we we can't live without love. <laughs> the conclusion. <laughs> the conclusion. Okay, the next one is: Do you think it is possible to love everyone? Yes. <laughs> of it's difficult, but you can. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but sometimes people don't deserve our love. <laughs> True. It's the point. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I mean, we can... Uh, how important is love? What do you see, Nubia? Araceli, Nubia Araceli. Hello, teacher. How are you? I am not bad. Thank you. Okay. Walter, you're back. Yes, I am here. <laughs> Were you on vacation? No. <laughs> no, just uh, that I, I was coming, coming late uh, yesterday. Yeah. From work, the traffic, and I and I uh, leave my work uh, so late, and also the traffic, and uh, for that reason, I I didn't be connect on, on time. You you work in Soyapango, right? I, yes, 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 I I am. Okay. And I live in Lourdes, as you know. <laughs> I live in Lourdes. But you work in Soyapango. Yes. What what part of Lourdes are you in? In Campo Verdes. 
Campo Verdes. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, so we're neighbors. Yes, we are. Good, good. All right, nice. Yes, for the reason I couldn't be yesterday. Okay, well, you're, you're here today, and that counts a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good. You run the risk, or, or you take the risk to be damaged. If you try to love everybody, it's not possible. And not, no. Yeah, because you no. create like these expectations, you expect expect that the same thing you give is the, the, is the same that you expect so then you get like disappointed so i don't like to love everyone <laughs> exactly no i i think it, it's impossible yeah hello teacher yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good topic i like that <laughs> I, like, I like this <laughs> can hear you you're in mute yeah, everybody has had uh, different experiences concerning love, you know, good experiences, bad experiences. You have been loved before. And uh, so it, it's good to hear uh, different opinions that people have about this topic. Yeah, but Williams and I, we have the, like the same thought about it, like a kind of selfish uh, thought or, or philosophy about, about love. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, kind of selfish. Yeah, life but, life makes you change, you know, like yeah, after you experience uh you know, like you have met maybe the wrong people and they do you exactly. bad, they treat you bad. So so you start thinking like, ah, oh, I have to be a little bit more careful next time, you know? Yeah. I don't like, for example, to love or to give love to everyone because people I yeah, I don't know how this is going to sound, but I think that people don't deserve me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. It's yeah. true. It's true. <laughs> yeah, people don't deserve me. I'm too good. And no, and people yeah. is like garbage. So no, they don't deserve me. Sorry, <laughs> sounds selfish, but yeah, it's the truth. It's true. You know, like we have to protect ourselves before anybody else. You know, so like, exactly. Exactly. If if being rude will keep you on the safe side, then be rude. You know, be a little bit cold if you have to yeah, yeah it's necessary it's like uh, something you need to protect yourself right right okay good
a chunk of love. Mm. A chunk of love. Yes. Because he was my first boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And after, uh, really? I don't think so. I f fall in love, whatever, <laughs> with all their person. Oh, so you just, have one. So you fall in love, love with. Just love. <laughs> yes. Nice. Just darling and love, but not fall in love. Uh. Nice. Because the experience was a, a bad experience. With oh, him, with, but... with your first love? Yeah, my first love. Oh, okay. Sorry for hear that. And you, Cecilia? I don't. <laughs> no, um, in my case, um, the, in the... How do you say matrimonio? Married? Married. Wedding. In, wedding. Uh, wedding. Wedding. In the wedding, uh, in, in our wedding, uh, always, uh, always there are many problems. Many problems. Uh, mm. But it's, it's, um, it's important it's in very important uh, the communication in the in the two the couple. in the couple, mm -hmm. but for the the durar tiempo, como the para durar el tiempo, the para um, what do you say? Uh, uh, <coughs> Tener para tiempo para hacer, o sea, ¿cómo decirle? Perdón. Eh, yo lo que quiero decir es que para durar tiempo en la vida de una pareja hay que ser, hay que tener mucha comunicación, mucha comprensión. Pues es el long time. Okay. How, how do you say último in English? The last. Last. Okay. So last as an adjective means último, but as a verb it means durar. So, if you uh, want to last in a person's life, si usted quiere durar en la vida de alguien, uh, so if you last, want to last, want to last in the, in the life of your, your couple, is necessary a communication, uh, is necessary patience, is necessary... Um, Many, many, uh, many, many components. Things, yeah. Components for the for the in law. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think I, the same. I uh, agree. Yes, I agree with you too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's el amor. But what I don't love know. looks like. Uh huh. It's like it, it, it. That means that uh, that the the way that we imagine the love is. I don't know. What does love look like? Uh huh. Explain us, teacher. <laughs> we don't understand that that, that question. Yeah. What does love look like? You know, like uh -huh. uh, just you need to imagine yourself <laughs> uh, yeah with that person that made you feel special you know like uh -huh, all the good uh -huh. times so what does love look like oh love looks like uh you feel in another dimension when you see this mm -hmm. person um mm -hmm. you don't feel time go by when you are with this person so i mean like uh so they're asking you for for a description mm -hmm. of a time when you felt good with somebody. Uh huh. Okay. All right. right. Mm -hmm. But for give us that kind of answer, we have to be in love. Right. Or or, okay. or, or I'm or, I'm not in love right now. <laughs> okay. So maybe you're not in love right now, but maybe they want you to go back into the last time you were in love. Uh, maybe you have a, a crush love. Yeah. <laughs> I have a crush. Have a crush. <laughs> right. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> so you need to transport yourself to uh, other times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, remember, remember, Roxy. <laughs> I would try. You can. You can give. Uh, um, how to say? Better relationship. You can you can have a better relationship for for the, the other for the other person. You can have a, a good good communication, and you can share with other people um, your happiness. Something like that. Okay. Which question were you discussing? Yeah. So number seven. Number seven. Okay. All right. We're almost finished with this activity. I need really? to buy more. <laughs> more. Uh, more books Buy what? because I I like to read too, but I don't have more books to read because I I oh my god, what is the you, possible you read? Them? Read. Read, read, I think <laughs> because I I, I read uh, my old books. <laughs> if you like electronic books, uh, try to take one month of a screen. I, I don't like too much read in in. Uh, in uh, okay, uh, read books, read books. Oh. Yeah, I don't want every much. time I come with a new book when I go to the this, this library international, okay, library international. My yeah. mom reached me because, yeah, she says that I have a lot of uh, unread books, so she she, she preached me, okay, <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh my god, another book, but you have a lot of books. And I don't say nothing. <laughs> so do you have a collection of books, uh, Julia? Yes, teacher. I have like maybe 12, 14, 16 books that I haven't read yet. I haven't read yet. So yeah, it's like kind of, I don't know how to say it, like mania to, to, to buy books. I, right. I, yeah, that mania. Okay. But, but in these days... Right, would, now that you're going to be on vacation, it's the... Perfect. Yeah, I don't have no excuses to, to read. Yeah. Right, right. Good, it's good. Kind of good, 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 really good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. okay. All right, all right, all right. Any questions or comments about that particular topic, love? We need to love, teacher. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Make a story short, you know, like we, we need to love. We need to love, yeah. Yeah. And we need someone to love us as well. You know, it has to be something reciprocal. Yeah, that's right. Right. That's right. Okay. Yes. A woman attack, Roxy. I think. What is it? <laughs> oh yeah, it's yeah. Right. Yes. I think, I think in in that question is missing the question like, uh, do you believe in love at first sight? See. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a very good question. Do you believe in love at first sight? First sight. Like, first yes. sight. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What is the answer to that question? Do you? Yeah. No. I think In yes. my case, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think it, it, it exists, you know, like mm -hmm. uh, it, it hasn't happened to me, maybe, you know, I haven't analyzed it, but I have seen cases of people that they meet and they click and they mm -hmm. stay together for for years i mean like mm -hmm. long time. yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes 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 right so so you know love is very 
very controversial. You know, you, you hear good stories, nice stories, bad stories, and, you know, anyways. Mm -hmm. Okay, any questions or comments? Nice quiz, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Interesting. Yeah, so, you know, like you, you start thinking about uh, uh, the, about your opinion about that. True. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do our last exercise, which is, uh, okay, can you see my screen, the knowledge check? Yes. Yes, I can. Okay. Yes, okay, yes. number one says, I can find the time to exercise. How would you um, transfer that information into a wish form? I wish I could have Good. Time. I wish I could find time. I could find, okay. Yeah, good. Very good. What about number two? My grades weren't very good last year, last semester. In number two, you have to use the past perfect form. If only... If only, if only my grades... Uh-huh. Hubieran sido buenos. How will you say that in English? Have been good. Yeah. If only my grades had been good. Right? Had or had? Had. Had. Okay. Had. Right. Because in this case, the person is showing regrets. So my grades weren't very good last semester. So how does the person regret? If only my grades had been good. What about number three? I don't know how to dance very well. I wish what? I wish I would dance very well. I wish, now if we use the yeah. simple past form. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I you can say I, it like that too. I wish I were. I knew. I, I wish, wish I, I knew. knew. I, I knew. wish I knew. Yeah. How to dance very exactly. well. Exactly. I wish I knew how to dance very well. Okay. I didn't apply for that interesting job at work. That's perfect again. How would you say that wish? Wish I had applied. Okay. I wish I had applied, or you can also use the past models. I wish I would have applied. Me hubiera gustado aplicar. Okay, number five. I'm feeling very stressed these days. Past continuous. I wish I, wish. I weren't. I weren't. Uh huh. I wish I weren't. Feeling very stressed. Uh huh. I wish I weren't feeling very stressed these days. Feeling. Okay, number six, I never learned how to swim when I was a child. Past perfect again. If only I had. If only I had I learned. Had learned. I had learned. Very good. How to swim when I was okay. a child. When I was a child. Good. Do you guys swim? Do you know how to swim? Yeah. Yes. Yes. You should. Yes. You should. Okay, number seven, I gave away all my old CDs and DVDs last summer. That's perfect again. Yes, somebody has a question? See, uh, yes, sorry. Uh, can you repeat the number six again? Number six, if, if only I had learned how to swim. Past perfect. If only I had learned how to swim. Okay, what about number seven? Past if perfect I, again. Thank you. If I only I had have given, given away. away all my CDs and DVDs last summer. Okay, if I, uh -huh. if only I hadn't. I hadn't. Uh huh. Yeah. Given away. I hadn't okay. given, given away. away. I hadn't, uh, no, I hadn't give away, given away. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh. Right, so I gave away all, all my old CDs and DVDs last summer. Now this person is showing regrets. Mm -hmm. and so he's saying, 
si tan solo no los hubiera dado. So you use past perfect. If only I hadn't. Number eight, I watched too much TV and didn't read enough when I was a kid. If only I have I have haven't watched. Okay. I haven't if only watched. I hadn't I watched too much TV. Uh -huh. Exactly. All right. Um, Matthew. Okay, uh, it's almost nine o'clock already. Do you have any questions or comments about today's class? I guess not. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much for your time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Same place, same time. Have a good night. Good thank night, you. teacher. Good night, thank you. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Bye. Don't Bye. disappear, don't disappear. <laughs> okay. Bye. Sweet.